Hey guys, so today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right here. So I wanted to do something that was more fall appropriate for my Northern Hemisphere viewers because I know you guys are going into fall. Um, it's not too dramatic, it's sort of a smoky eye but not really because I didn't use black so it's like a bit toned down. And then I used the dark greyish kind of brown lip. You could obviously switch the lip colour up and use like a berry or a dark mauve colour or honestly you could change the lip to whatever you want. I just thought this was kind of more fall appropriate. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! So to start out the look I'm going to prime my skin and I'm using my Natural Glamour Primer and then I'm going to apply my foundation with a beauty blender. I'm using the Dior Skin Forever foundation today just to switch it up because I haven't used this one for a while. So I'm just stippling that all over my skin. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to prime my eyelids using my MAC Paint Tilly Paint Pot. And this is my all-time favorite eyeshadow base. And then I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee Eyeshadow. So I'm using this as my transition shade on a fluffy brush just to buff that all through the crease. Then going in with a slightly darker brown called Frappe, I'm just going to focus this more in the outer corner and just build up that color intensity. Then for an even deeper crease color and outer corner color, I'm using Coco Bear, which is a beautiful warm brown. This is like the perfect autumn fall colour and yeah I'm just going to buff that in with my MAC 217 brush. For the lid I'm going to do a gradient of two foiled eyeshadows. So the first one is called In the Spotlight and it's by Makeup Geek as well. Focusing that on the inner portion of the eyelid and then I'm going to go in with a copper shade called Flamethrower and I'm going to apply this to the outer third. So you just want to take your time packing these colours on and then you want to go back in and make sure that the two colors are blended together nicely. So just keep adding as much color as you need and blending. Then don't forget to go in with a blending brush afterwards just to blend all the edges. For eyeliner, I'm tight lining with my Maybelline Black as Black Gel Eyeliner. And then I'm going to create a small wing using this brush. If I had a had the chance again I would have used an angled brush because that brush was really hard to use um, so if you were a beginner maybe try an angled brush um, but I'm just making the eyeliner a bit smudged out so it's not so harsh then you just want to curl your lashes and apply a coat of mascara Moving on to concealer, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Look at this brand new baby I got. And I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes and down the center of my face and just again go, with, go in with my Beauty Blender to tap everything out. To cream contour, I'm using this Becca Foundation Stick in the shade Brioche. And I'm going to outline where I want my contour to be, so just underneath my cheekbones and above my hairline and around my temples and that kind of thing. Then I go in with a small elf stippling brush and try to blend it out but it really was not working for me as you can see. So I decided to take my Beauty Blender with a bit of MAC Fix Plus on it to make it a bit wetter and that worked really well to blend my contour out. To set my concealer, I'm using the light cocoa shade from the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit and I'm just using that on a Real Techniques contour brush just to press that into my skin. Then to bronze up my skin, I'm using the dark cocoa shade which is a warm brown from the kit and I'm just going to use an angled fluffy brush to brush that over where I've contoured already and then to intensify my contour, I'm using the medium cocoa shade on my NARS Ida brush just to really sharpen out the contour. For blush I decided to use MAC Warm Soul because I feel like it was such a nice autumn shade so I'm just applying a fair amount to that of that to my cheeks. 
And for a highlight and a glow, I'm using my Mary Luminizer from The Balm. So I'm just putting that on the high points of my cheeks and I'm taking that up around my temples and a bit above my eyebrow. And then of course I do my Cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. To set everything in place and make sure my powders aren't sitting on the skin, I used some MAC Fix Plus and doused my face in that. And then I went in with my Socialized Glamorous Eyelashes to add some bit of glamour to the look. Then finally for lips, I'm using the Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick in the shade Underground. It is so beautiful. I seriously love this shade so much. It is a really strange shade to wear, but I adore it. Then to finish off the under eyes, I just used some Cocoa Bear and rubbed that really closely along my lash line and then I just repeated the steps using Flamethrower and In The Spotlight. Then just for an inner corner and brow bone highlight, I used my MAC Pigment in Vanilla. And after that, we just apply some Low Lash Mascara and the look is done. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!